hockey team has enjoyed some impressive seasons under coach Sally Starr, who has led the Terriers to be ranked among the top programs in the country since the mid-1980s. Since 1985, BU has finished the season ranked in the top 20 20 times, and they finished in the top 10 six times. They've given their home turf a lot to be proud of, despite not having access to a home field since the year 2000. This fall, with the embarkment of a new era in the Patriot League, the Terriers finally have a green space to call their own. Nestled between a few buildings on Babcock Street, the glow of New Balance Field enhances the BU campus from the top of a brand new parking garage. About five years ago, we started this thought process about how we could best utilize this ugly old parking lot that we had sitting on the west end of our campus. We had 350 parking spaces on that parking lot, so we knew we couldn't lose the parking. So our board of trustees and our athletic committee came together and started putting pen to paper and coming up with a concept that would help us not only to bring our field hockey team back on campus, but also allow us to keep all those parking spaces available for everyone here on campus as well as throughout the city. About a year and a half ago we brought that to our board and they put their stamp of approval on it and today we were able to open the field and uh, it's, it's completely transformed that end of Babcock Street and totally changed the way people look and, and think about Babcock and that west end of campus. It's, I think, one of the most beautiful fields I've ever seen. The whole facility is just amazing. It's so well done. Every touch, everything is perfect. It was such a huge boost. I saw it from the moment that the field opened. I lost my breath. I couldn't believe how big this thing was. The biggest thing for us was funding. We had to find a partner who was going to be willing to help us to create it. And we found that New Balance. We approached them about a year and a half ago with this idea that we were going to build this new green space in the middle of a complex urban environment. Uh, they're about two miles down the street from us, and they saw us as a, uh, as a true partner. I think they saw it as helping each other, and they stepped up with a $3 million contribution to help us to name it. And then beyond that, we were able to uh, pull in a number of other alumni who also made significant contributions. In total, we raised about $7 million for the field. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better gift my senior year especially. I feel like it's the best way to end off my career at BU. It's so nice to have finally our field. It's absolutely amazing. I'm so thankful that this field was built for my senior year and was ready. This new field is just, it's so beautiful as you can tell. It brings so much more energy and life to our program. Well, for field hockey, it totally changes the way they've been doing business. Sally and her team have been off campus for 13 years. It's absolutely amazing. It's been a long time coming. It's been 13 years that we were off campus. They've been our resident vagabond, traveling to Harvard and Boston College and Northeastern. We were at Harvard. That is not that far away, but still like, we will need to take the vans. We spent on average two hours a week in vans, um, transporting back and forth. Anywhere they could find a field, really, that was what they pretty much termed home. Two years ago, we had seven home games, and um, three of those games were at Harvard, three of those games were at BC, and one of those seven games started at Harvard. We had a rain delay at halftime, and we finished that game at BC. So I think that really defines Vagabond. And now this year, having a home field, we have 10 home games. We haven't had 10 home games, and truly home games since um, 2000 when we were on Nickerson Field. I feel like in our previous games when we've had teams come visit, it hasn't felt like a real home and that we are playing to protect our home. Uh, and now this field is here, we walk across the road. Now they're able to come back to campus and walk about 10 steps and, and get on their own field. Every morning they wake up knowing they're going to the best field in the country. Just the day-to-day -day experience for them I know is outstanding now. All our friends, they can come right here. It's right next to our locker rooms, our dorms. So like we have much more fans here and they cheer for us. The stands are full. The action is lively. There's a lot of noise. There's a lot of support. It's in the center of campus. It attracts so many more people. You can feel the energy of that field as you're walking down the street. And we have a lot of those folks who may not be field hockey fans, but they're walking off the street and coming into the stadium to see what's going on. People walking by didn't even know what like the field hockey team was. And now, you know, people can just walk in the gates when we're playing. I think it's amazing. It's weird to have like between all these buildings, but it's also really cool that we are actually in the middle of the city playing field hockey. Every game is just, you feel like it's your last game. There's so much energy from the sideline. You just feel like you're not only playing for your team, for yourself, but for the whole community. When I come down Babcock Street now, I'll typically see the field hockey team coming out of the Case Center and walking across the street to the field. 
and you see nothing but smiles. I think I play with a lot more heart now. It's so nice to come with our coaches whenever we went here to practice a little bit more. There's really no words to explain my gratitude. Just really grateful now to have this opportunity to have a special program, have a special year and, and really help this team to get better and better every day. Every time they pass by my office, you know, you always see a smile and a, hey, Mr. Lynch, and thanks a lot. And I keep telling them we have a lot of people who are doing a lot of good here. I'm grateful that they had the opportunity to be able to take part and to be able to use such a great facility. And, and certainly, we wouldn't have been able to do it without New Balance. Members of the BU field hockey team aren't the only ones smiling about New Balance field. The space has allowed BU to add a new program in men's lacrosse, and it opens up more outdoor opportunities for students interested in club and recreational sports. Not to mention the facility that's put the campus community in high spirits is actually quite high tech too. The coaches have the handheld power to activate the field's water cannons from their smartphones. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Melanie Plowski.